Well, hello. It's me again, finally. So, uh, I thought I'd just do a update as I haven't been um, <laughs> doing a lot of filming the last few months. Um, I have been working on it on the bus, but I haven't had uh, time or for whatever reason, the inclination to do a lot of videoing, so <laughs> I'll just kind of do a, a um, uh, video of where I've gotten to so far, for anybody that cares. Um, so this is what my living room looks like right now, because I'm working on the ceiling, um, and... Living on, or living in, and working on your bus at the same time is, uh, well, well, let's say it's problematic. It's not impossible, but uh, if you have any option, don't do it. Um, and I don't have any option, so that's why I'm doing it. So I've got, you know, insulation and bits and pieces everywhere. Just really hard to try and keep everything, anything clean while you're trying to work on it, but. But it is what it is. Like I mean, it's just the way it is. So, anyways, so let's. Uh, so here's the the roof ceiling uh, that I'm working on. I'm putting uh, Roxel insulation between the ceiling paneling and the spray foam. Hopefully, that'll uh, help with uh, you know keeping the uh, the uh, heat down in the summertime and. It's, I mean, it's pretty good, but, uh, you know, all more insulation is better. Uh, these are the uh, air conditioning vents um, tied into the uh, tubing that I put up there before. That's just a uh, 3-inch PVC drain pipe and fittings. Um, I decided to get rid of the factory air conditioning you know covers and uh, went with some oak vents I think it looks a lot better um, so uh, anyways that's where I'm at now and I'm just continuing uh, to to do that as I as I um, well anyways that's my project <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to go up as far as I can up toward the TV there. And then there will be a, a big cabinet up in there eventually once uh, once all the ceiling and everything is done. Uh, I haven't really done anything in the in the driver's compartment yet. Uh, it works. You know, I can I can drive it. But, I mean, you know, when all the all that stuff isn't done yet. That will be in the future yet. Um, this slide out. <laughs> I've kind of taken the, the, the chairs out of it. And... Uh, it's pretty much storage for stuff at the moment. Um, my next project uh, last fall or was going to be the kitchen, which I've, it's not finished by any means. Um, all the cabinets are, are, you know, the casings are all in and, you know, the kitchen's operational. Um, and again, it's a good storage spot. Um... So, you know, that'll have drawers and cupboard doors and, you know, uh, uh, oak fake face frames and stuff are all going to be in there. I will, at the end of this um, this little update video, I'll just add all the footage I have of constructing the, the, um, the kitchen. So that's all the, the cabinet casings. There'll be oak... Uh, face frame on here as well as you know well you know what cabinets look like uh there's a over the range microwave with the, the built-in fan i think i've shown all this stuff before but there's my stash of booze um hooked up sink um and there's the dishwashers all installed and operational um i have the washer and dryer installed now it's a good thing they weren't any bigger <laughs> uh 
they fit, but there's not a lot of extra room. Um, I'm going to put a build a cabinet up above them, They're up in there, up in where the detergent and stuff is. So that's, uh, you know, I'll, I'll be, uh, have some place to store all that. Uh, I have my pocket doors installed now, which are, because they're so close, they're hard to see. But what I did is I got um, some barn door uh, kits online, uh, which were not very good quality. <laughs> but uh, I managed to make them work. So a lot of the boards were warped. As you can see, there's a bit of a, a gap right in here. Um, this, this board here was really badly warped. Um, I don't know if I can make it better or not, but the rest of it wasn't too bad. Anyways, they're not finished yet, like stained or anything, uh, but uh, they are in and operational. Um, bathroom cabinet, same thing. It's it's in and you know it's operational. Upper cabinet. Um, I haven't got to the ceiling in here yet, but uh, that'll be that'll be coming. Uh, so the bathroom is all operational. Um, Shower behind there, nothing to worry about there. Uh, and there's what the barn doors look like. Um, that's the one into the bedroom. Um, yeah, so I guess that's about it. So, you know, oh, the there's the fitting for the uh, central vacuum that's not finished yet. <laughs> it's all plumbed in and everything, but... Uh, I gotta wire the, I gotta wire it and uh, mount the, the face plate. Um, so that is uh, about it, I guess, for for the um, oh, what do you call it? For the you know for the progress that I've made so far in the last few months over the winter. Um, of course. As usual, I wish I'd gotten more done, but uh, it was uh, minus 26 here for a while. And um, uh, while the bus stayed nice and warm and everything, it's pretty hard to work on. You know, my my uh, shop is a container down below. It's pretty hard to heat it when it's that cold. And so we didn't, uh, didn't get a whole lot done, uh, or as much done as I had wanted to. But, you know, I'm getting used to that. <laughs> So anyways, uh, yeah, that's it. So I'm going to just continue on with uh, this and I'll try and and uh, do some more video as I go. Um, and uh, after, uh, I'll, I'll just tag all the rest of that, the video of doing the, like I say, of the, um, the uh, kitchen cabinets. I'll uh, tag that all on in the end, at the end of this, uh, uh, this portion of the video if uh, anybody wants to. Uh, then anybody wants to watch that. So hope everybody's doing okay, and uh, we'll talk at you in a bit. Well, there's a quick little clip of the central vacuum system piping underneath the cabinets. Goes up into this one. Around the back which this is the cabinet for the oven and let's see if I can get over here so on the end of this uh, end of this cabinet down low there's the outlet for the uh, vacuum system for the front end of the bus and that has the whatever they call it automatic dust pan or whatever they call it in the kitchen here and then the piping goes through into the bathroom and um, it's just uh, open there right now and when I finish the, ca the bathroom cabinet then I'll continue that one and, and uh, put a fitting in there for the back half of the bus. There you go. So I've been bad again. I uh, I haven't filmed any of this uh, kitchen cabinet building that I've been doing. Um, I'm uh, a good portion of the way through. 
the you know the carcasses these are all going to get covered in um, an oak uh, stained oak um, anyways uh, I haven't really decided what color and like how dark and that kind of thing yet but uh, anyways this is all pine I'm sorry not pine birch uh, pre-finished <clears throat> plywood that I built all the cabinets out of um, just have uh, three quarter inch plywood on here temporarily for the uh, for a countertop. Just kind of like a mock all this stuff up. Um, got the sink uh, again temporarily dropped in faucets and and whatnot all uh, temporarily installed. Um, I'm gonna mount this. Uh, water, um, what do, you, what do you call it? Not really drinking water, but uh, for cooking and whatnot, it'll go on the other side of the sink here, right in that hole there, and um, then I'll use that for cooking and that kind of stuff. Be hooked up to the same pump that supplies water to the uh, to the fridge here for drinking water. So, anyways, um. Got one, the first upper cabinet uh, up, and um, I'm going to build uh, shorter cabinets, probably, I don't know, 16 inch or something like that over top of the sink, because I think the, the full 24 inch wide ones, you know, they're going to come down to within like three inches of the top of the tap here. I think it's going to be kind of goofy, so I think I'll run them make I don't know, a shorter cabinet over to um, right about in here somewhere and then the over the range microwave will be from there to this cabinet um, and this one's just sitting on the on the uh, countertop right now because I goofed and I've got to make some changes on the top here uh, I don't know why I just completely forgot that the bus Top part of the bus roof is curved. <laughs> so a square cabinet is not going to work. Not unless I push really hard. Anyways, uh, so that's what I got to do. Um, and then there'll be above the microwave, there'll be uh, just a short, whatever, eight inch tall cabinet or uh, yeah, cabinet or whatever with uh, covered doors and stuff on it. So, anyways. Uh, be drawers down in this cabinet here that's uh, directly below the cooktop um, oven is mounted in the cabinet now and uh, I took a little video earlier of the, the uh, central vacuum system it's all underneath that cabinet there so anyways I'll try and uh, do a little better at, uh, <laughs> at filming. I just get busy and go and go go, and then I completely forget to, uh, or to take the time to, to do any videoing. So sorry about that, but uh, it's just the way it is. Um, I have uh, I haven't ordered, but I found the um, live edge uh, countertop that I'm going to use. Um, I haven't actually ordered it yet, but. Uh, at least I know where to source it anyways. Actually, one of my, one of you guys uh, suggested Rona has um, has them. Um, so I don't remember who it was, but uh, I checked into it. And yeah, they're really nice. So, and all already, uh, you know, they're already cut to 25 and a half inches wide. And they're just live edge on one edge. So uh, this piece here, they also have one that's 39 inches wide, I believe, for, uh, for an island. So I'll use that for... This here, and I'll have to modify it a little bit to well, quite a bit actually, <laughs> to to uh, make it work with this uh, this angled part here. But um, I have a friend with a saw, so we can do it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's a little bit of an update for now. All right, so I'm making a little bit more progress on this kitchen and cabinets and whatnot. Um, I kind of made a big oopsie. I had to go back and fix. Um, the, this cabinet, 
being on the outside of the bus had to be curved. And while I knew that, I completely forgot about it while I was building cabinets. I built both of them in a square like that one. And this one being on an inside wall, that works fine. But this one had to be curved, so I had to take it back apart. Curve the the back half of the back panel. Um, I just cut one inch strips in it in the piece about uh, and left about an eighth of an inch, and then curved it to the uh, to the shape it needed to be. And uh, you can see a little daylight out there. I'm gonna put some caulking in there because I am not a carpenter. Same as up there, but all in all, I think they'll be fine. I'll show you a view from back farther. So there's kind of what it looks like from the other side of the bus. Um, I have a over the range microwave coming. It's on its way. Um, so that'll go in up against this cabinet and over to about in here somewhere. And then I'll build more cabinets from here over to here. So I'll take a little bit more video once that's done. So I thought I'd film another little segment here. The kitchen is coming along. To excuse the mess, it's a <laughs> bit of a construction site. Uh, I got the uh, central vacuum all plumbed in and the uh, got the vacuum system and everything um, pretty much seen the lower cabinets the uppers uh, microwave over the range microwave in um, as the range fan and all that kind of stuff in it um, still have to build a cabinet up there to go across from there to there and another little cabinet of some sort in here. Uh, I want to bring it down to this height um, to meet the uh, the microwave. Not exactly sure what that's gonna look like yet but um, as usual I'll just wing it. But anyways I've uh, got the sink operational. Got it all plumbed in and running water nice now I can wash some dishes uh, next thing is going to be delivered tomorrow is the dishwasher to fit in there so that'll be my next little chore in here and uh, yeah anyways coming along I'll put some uh, LED lighting up under the cabinet here and here and under that cabinet as well the the uh, range has lighting under it already so anyways it's another little uh another little update so another little segment here on the kitchen build it's uh a little after 11 at night uh, i should be in bed but uh dishwasher it's pretty dark i guess so Kind of hard to see it, but anyways, it's a, a 18 inch apartment size dishwasher, so that's all in there now. I just have to plumb, uh, plumb the water and the uh, and wire it, it's all mounted and everything in there. I kind of had to mount it in there to uh, figure out how I was going to finish this other side of the cabinet here so it kind of had to be there and in place and then I could finish this all off so in the process of doing that now um, it's all gonna fit nice so look at that dishes are washed that almost never happens all right that's it for now I gotta go to bed